For the first time since March, the state is allowing social gatherings in private and public places. News Channel 3's Shelby Nelson has details on what state officials now say you can do and can't do. A little family, family get together. You know? Yeah, just doing something on a Sunday, trying to get a little workout in. A laid back Sunday for sisters Kiera and Lene Lancey shooting hoops at a Palm Desert Park with friends. We've been trying to stay in, but we usually do anyway, so yeah. Like so many others, the sisters are playing it safe and limiting how much they go out. Um, play with my friends on a game or something because I can't see them in real life. Little Aiden Lozada also spending the day at the park with his family. I just want to have some fun and practice playing guitar. Many people now cautiously getting out. For months, Californians have been confined by strict guidelines when it comes to social gatherings. The first round of restrictions happening in March. Now for the first time in months, they're being eased. The new guidelines cover social gatherings at home or in public. Gatherings of no more than three households are permitted at a public park. I know there's there's not going to be like the park ranger or somebody enforcing that, but I mean, at least as, as you know, the community, we should, you know, like at least bind to some other those things. Alan Barasa believes it's up to people to be responsible and abide by public health guidelines to wear masks and stay socially distanced. Meanwhile, Riverside County Department of Public Health released this statement. The county has aligned with state guidelines and if county residents choose to gather with other households, the state guidance gives advice on how to do so more safely. The more individuals are involved, however, the higher the risk of transmission to medically vulnerable individuals in your family, even with these precautions. General gatherings of three households or less are also permitted outdoors. Officials are asking hosts to keep track of attendees in case contact tracing is later needed. Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3.